Lauren Screeden here on day three of the draft. The Bears bolster the trenches even more, drafting Larry Borum in the fifth round out of Mizzou. Larry, thanks for joining me. How does it feel to be a Bear? Man, it's, <laughs> I can't even explain the emotions. It's, I'm everywhere. I'm ecstatic. Family's happy. Everyone's just ready. It's a, it's a feel of, of joy. It looks like you're outside right now. Was the house too loud, too much cheering? Is that what was going on? Yeah, it was too much. I had to get out. I, had to, I really took a walk around the block and then I just ended up back in the backyard. But yeah, it was a lot. Who's there with you today celebrating? Uh, my mother, my grandmother, my girlfriend, her mother, my father, and my mom's friend. You said back in March that it was going to be stressful watching the draft, you know, waiting for this moment. What's it been like over the last couple of days for you? <laughs> Even more stressful. It's, it's hard just sitting there and literally just waiting until your name is called. And it's just, it's literally just a waiting game. It's like a long car ride. You just got to wait and wait. And every pick, I'm like, oh, am I getting closer? Am I closer? It's literally a waiting game. <laughs> so the phone rings. It's Coach Nagy. What does he say to you? <laughs> he's, a, he's like, Larry, what's going on? And immediately I start, I start crying. Like it's a sense of, it was just a sense of like relief. But he's like, we want you, we want you to be a bear, all this other good stuff. And whole house is going crazy. I really can't even hear it, <laughs> honestly. But all I heard is I want you to be a bear. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, it's been a long time in the waiting, waiting for this moment. But when did it become a reality for you that, hey, you could make this NFL dream possible? Um, after the last game of the season. I mean, talking to people and really just seeing my name be brought about online and all that good stuff, it was I had a decision to make and I bet on myself. I mean, that's that's how I live my life. You got to bet on yourself and make that next step. And that's what I did. You've been called under recruited, under evaluated. Do you play with the chip on your shoulder? Yeah, big chip. I'm never going to lose it. I'm a guy that only had one power five offer coming out of high school. I took it. I made the most of it. And I'm a guy that's going to put in the work more than anyone. So I never lose that chip. Now, basketball was your first love. Yep. It sure was. So when did you make the switch to football? Um, hey, growing up, basketball was, I always thought I was going to be an NBA player. <laughs> but then I was always the bigger kid. So it kind of, when I got to high school, that's when I really started playing football seriously. And I still did both. But after, I want to say, beginning of my junior year, I stopped playing basketball. So strictly focus on football. Who's the greatest basketball player of all time? Jordan. There you go. <laughs> Good answer. Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> You're from outside of Detroit, though. So do you know a little bit about the Bears tradition and all that? I'm not going to ask who you rooted for growing up. Uh, <laughs> I know a little bit about the, about the organization. I know it's a great organization. It has a winning past. It's a winning team. And I'm just looking forward to be able to contribute to that. If you could say one message to the Bears fans who are watching and I know are excited to have you, what would it be? Man, I'm ready to come to Chicago. I'm ready to get to work. That's it. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Larry. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing you at Hallis Hall soon. This Bears draft interview has been brought to you by Miller Lite.